Hey everyone, Two Souls over here with Souls from the Struggle. And today our special guest that we have is uh, Jax Cortez, also known as Jax Music on Instagram and mm -hmm. YouTube, YouTube, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to just thank her for coming, first of all. Mm -hmm. And we are in the city of Lincoln Heights. What? Yes, Lincoln Heights. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, so we want to get to know a little bit more about who Jax is and where'd you grow up at? Um, well, I'm Salvadorian, first of all, um, and I grew up in the valley, in El Valle. All right. Right? Um, valley girl. Valley girl over here, <laughs> without the blonde, though. <laughs> but I grew up in the valley. Um, I am very young. <laughs> um, and I love to sing, I guess. That's pretty much my thing. All right. Whoa. <laughs> I'm did saving you, the questions for you, you know? Did you always live in the valley? Yes, actually, I, uh, well, when we came from El Salvador, obviously, you know, we did the little like border thing because um, my parents obviously came over here illegally. Um, we were, I think like a little bit, maybe a couple of months or a year. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that if my mom's watching um, for a little bit in L.A. So we were there for a little bit and then we went to San Fernando. Oh. Right, but then I don't know what happened, but we ended up in Canoga Park. So I'm a, I'm from Canoga Park okay. because that's where I lived most of my years. Then we moved around, obviously, you know, try, trying to find somewhere better or oh, a bigger yeah. spot, mm -hmm. cheaper spots too. So we went to as far as Arlita, we moved over there and then back to Canoga Park. So I'm from Canoga Park, that's okay, how I see so it. Now. That's what you represent, right? I represent Canoga Park <laughs> A1A over here. All right, all right, you heard that, guys. <laughs> and so, you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have. Um, I'm actually the oldest. Oh. So, I have a younger sister and a younger brother. Um, and that's it, yeah. yeah. I was about to add another kid, and I didn't even. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> it, was it difficult um, when you were growing up? Uh, like when you were a little girl, was it? Did you find anything difficult when you were growing up? Girl, Which yes. Um, I had a lot of challenges actually growing up. Um, I had a, like a really tough childhood growing up. There was like a lot of you know things going on. You know what I mean? Especially in the Latino families. You know what I mean? Um, there's a lot sometimes going on that. It's hard to grow up when you're going through certain things, but that's for another time, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, even trying to like uh, fit in in schools. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I feel like it was really hard when I was growing up. What, what, what did you find the, the most uh, challenging when you were growing up in school? Like you said, to well, be just like, like give, give us a little bit so that way the viewers could understand, mm -hmm. you know, uh, so a lot of them don't understand the background mm -hmm. that, that we uh, Latinos grow up in, you know? Yeah. So, just what is it that you, one thing that you, you want to, you know, open uh, up to? One of them, I think it was like, awesome. my dad was really strict. Mm -hmm. He was really strict. So it's like, to me, it was very important. Um, every single thing that, um, like, yo quería que me aceptara, right? This is Spanglish, right? We can do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> que me oh, oh let the train. Excuse the train, guys. Make it high speed rude up in this. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, so uh, you were saying that when your dad, when you were growing up, your dad was really strict? Yeah, my dad was actually really, really strict. So for me, my dad, because también él era muy como, I don't know if it's a Salvadorian thing, but it's like, to me, my dad was really tough. Oh, okay. Like, really tough. Like, I wasn't, I want to say I was raised kind of like a boy. Mm -hmm. Like, he would be always, like, growing up, he would remind me, like, you are going to be independent. You're not going to need this. You're not going to, you're going to, tú vas a estar haciéndolo sola, right? Yeah. And then, so me growing up, especially because I wasn't girly, like, I, I was a tomboy growing up, too, because mm -hmm. of how he was. Um, to me, to get accepted in, like, with friends, especially when I got into middle school and high school it was hard for me because it's like you wanted to be like accepted by the mean girls you know what yeah. i mean and and it was hard so for me me, me say like i was really outgoing mm -hmm. but the only way that you were able to get to know that side of me is if we personally got real close I right other than that is like with other people yo sentia que growing up because of my dad how he had me or how he raised me 
yo, I would try too hard to be accepted by oh. other girls mm -hmm. growing up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. C could you tell us about a time you found yourself feeling like uh, that you wanted to give up, like when you were growing up, like maybe if you had hard times, like being a teenager? Uh, struggles that you dealt, dealt with? Oh, girl. Fake name? Um, growing up for me, because of situations that happened, me growing up, um, there was a lot of times, even as a, a little kid, that I was like done really? with a lot of with a lot oh. of a lot of things, you know. That sadly, as a kid, I also learned to block a lot of you know situations. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, there was a lot of moments where I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm I can't deal with this. I can't handle this. Um, mm -hmm. But I think the main main thing of was when COVID happened. That was a big, big time for me that it was a downfall for me yeah. because of the fact that me growing up, todo lo que me pasó and everything I went through, um, I blocked it out. I learned how to block things out. Oh. I never spoke about it. I never told anybody. I never, um, I hide, I hide a lot of pain behind my smile. And I, you may say that she's so after a while. Like oh. I was known as the Joker after yeah. a while because I was always like, da, 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 da. but when I went home, I was like, you know, I was by myself. I was like really down. And especially when COVID happened and, you know, staying home, a lot of people, I'm sure that they went through that stuff yeah. or they went through that loneliness. Yeah. Like being at home and, and struggling with your thoughts, really. Exactly. Um, and me being alone too, it was just like, I mean, I had my son cause I also have a, a 13 year old. Um, I had him there, but sometimes, you know, he has to go with his other parent. Yeah. And I was left alone there and not working. Como yo estaba acostumbrada a trabajar at least two jobs. Being that, to me, me salió como dicen los demonios. Mm -hmm. Like, so many things came out that for me, when COVID started, especially 2021, girl, I went through so much depression mm -hmm. that I almost called it quits. Like, I was almost like done with it like I didn't care I was like man I went through all of this and now it's like I'm sad now and what do I do you know yeah. but luckily I mean I'm still here I didn't give up on myself and that's good you know I'm what glad. I mean you know you push through it you push through your struggles yeah. <clears throat> and um so how did how does music play a, a part of your life like how did that come up like what what uh when 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 you realize that wow I want to go ahead and start singing I was actually, um, well, my mom also has told me that when I was a little girl, siempre agarraba la cuerda de, de, de vacuum. <laughs> so I would be like, even with a brush, you know, whatever, yeah. every, whatever's like looks certain like way. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that I would start. And Selena, I was, Selena, I'm sure to a lot of people, but Selena to me, I feel like I got on a personal level with her okay. because a lot of songs que ella cantaba, even though I didn't know nothing about love when I was a kid, but her voice was just so beautiful to me that uh -huh. it, it como me, me like, uh, my safe huh? place too, you know? Yeah, oh, and my yeah. inspiration too. So then, you know, what I, from what I remember when I was like five years old and up, I loved to sing. I would sing oldies, anything that my dad would play, like, or my mom would play. I would just get on there and then the Beatles, yeah. They were the uh, the other group that I felt. Oh really? Yeah, it was mm -hmm. a big part because that um, the song from the Beatles, "Hey Jude." Mm -hmm. yeah, to me, one. that <laughs> song saved me in so many ways to feel really sad when I was a kid. Oh, okay. I don't know if you like know exactly the words for that not song. Really not, no. Listen to it, and mm -hmm. it was just that was my jam growing up. If I felt sad or if I was going through something or I was hurting, mm -hmm. I would play that, and then I was fine. Wow! And how old were you? I was, when I started liking the Beatles, I was like six, seven years old. Oh my goodness. So I was obsessed with them. So young. Yeah, yeah. Paul McCartney was bae. Yeah. <laughs> Paul McCartney, guys. <laughs> he was bae for me. That's her bae. <laughs> he was my boo. Oh man. Yeah, but yeah, that I feel like, yeah, it was just music to me at uh, my life. Like even to this day, I feel like if I feel a certain way and you like, for example, you hurt me in some way, I'm like, let me find this song. I can't tell you, but I'm gonna send oh, this you're to gonna you. Oh, you going to say it with the song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And so when Selena started hitting, like, did you, when, when it happened with Selena, did you cry? Girl. So when Selena passed away, the next, the next day um, was Selena's concert oh. or actually that morning. Oh, sure. Yeah. So my aunt had got me tickets for her concert and then when we were in there sitting down they had announced that she had passed away so 
to me, I was heartbroken because I was waiting for that day to see her. I mean, ya sé que no la iba a tocar ni nada or be close yeah. to her, but the fact that I was in the same place was as that her. Be the first time you saw her? Yeah, oh, in person. My well, you know, far, but I was well, going to. Like the first time yeah. concert that you were So I was so excited. So I was so, like, I was so lost, to be oh, honest, yeah. because I was so excited to see her and. Mm -hmm. It was a really sad day for me that day, to be wow. honest. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I mean, everybody was saddened about her death, you know? Mm -hmm. I know I was in, like, I was in, a, a, in school when I heard it. We were all in school when we heard it, so yeah, it was, it was pretty sad. Yeah. And do you go to, weird. like, a special, like, do you have, like, a routine or anything that, like, do you sit in a certain place or you have to have something, like, you know, like, some kind of, like, go to the beach or, like, quiet place or where, when you start writing, like, where do you, where do you where off Basically, to yeah, like, now, well, now I'm kind of, like, I just do it at home, but before, I had this habit on, I was always feeling a certain type of way in la noche. Mm. So I would book it to the beach, even though it was dangerous. I mean, now that I think about it, I'm like, damn, you didn't even think about it. You could have been like freaking secuestrada or something like, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and But I would go and there was like a special place when you're by, um, you kind of pass Suma Beach and there's some oh, rocks. Right. I forgot exactly where the location is, but it's una rocas que is like a, like a long bridge of rocks towards oh, the water. Uh -huh. And then yo me quedaba ahí in the corner, sentadita. Oh, wow. And I would use like a little lamp and then I was just like, really? right and stuff. And, and that was yourself. my thing. I would go by myself. So now that I think about it, I'm like, damn, what is what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you could have died or something. <laughs> Been kidnapped. But but to me it was like so um, calm. It was just me letting it out hasta gritaba a veces ahí in the yeah. middle of the beach, you know, just to feel better and just to just come like back to and be like, all right, things. shake it off, you know? Mm -hmm. Stop being a little beat. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what, your parents, do they support what you do as a singer? Mm, my dad actually when okay, so I started singing at church when oh. I was younger. So I have an, an album, a, a Christian, no, by a solo. I started and he got me a vocal, um, a vocal coach and it was great, whatever. And <laughs> once I was like, oh, pues yo quiero cantar, you know, like, you know, other stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And he was like, no, well, if you're gonna sing out of church, then ya te voy a quitar todo. And he oh. bought me, cause I had speakers and I had like all microphones set y todo. Really? He literally like was like, if you're gonna do that, then like pretty much i'm cutting off like wow. i'm not gonna you know my mom was kind of like oh i don't know you know it's i don't know how far is it gonna go yeah. like it's like she wasn't supporting me but she was but not oh, okay you know what i mean but my dad for sure wasn't my dad was like Te vas a meter en coca. Oh. Te vas a meter en that's eso. the first thing that people think when uh, when you want to you know be in that kind of like life as a career like a singer or yeah a musician or whatever have you i mean yeah it has its stereotypes you know where people do do drugs and yeah stuff like that. but i mean you know if you have a good strong background with family like i don't think that, that exactly would be something that you would wanna i know it, yeah and i agree with that because i mean si yo hubiera querido, if if you knew my whole story <clears throat> since i was five years old I could have been lost in drugs. I could have been lost in so many ways. I don't even know where I had been, where would I have been if I would have been, um, I don't want to say weak because I know there's certain people that haven't been able to handle it and they, you know, they get lost. And I'm not nobody to judge them because cada quien, you know? But at least myself, I feel like after everything that has happened to me, it's like I could have got lost in drugs. Yeah. And I feel like why would I get lost now doing music? Cuando si no, no lo hice hace mucho, haciendo oh, yeah. drogas, you know, mm -hmm. why would I do it now? Yeah, exactly. So, that's how I see it, yeah. you know? Yeah, and that's, 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 a, that's a good point. I mean, that's what, what people do when, uh, when they're, like, either they have that option of doing it or not. And just because you became a, a, a singer doesn't mean that you're going to do that. Exactly. But a lot of our parents, you know, with the backgrounds of, uh, of that way, the Latino, like, heritage and stuff, like, mm -hmm. they think about, oh, well, you know, no se va a meter en esto, se va a meter en otro. Yeah, exactly. Instead of, like, supporting you, like, saying, oh, you know what, you could do it. You could be that next Selena. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on, girl, do it. <laughs> no, they and were like, nah. the jacket with Selena in the back of her. You guys oh, sure? yeah. You want to show her? <laughs> I you do. I got my Selena. It cute? It's cute. <laughs> In honor of Selena, guys. In honor of Selena, exactly. So, um, uh, what? Uh, let's see. What does it make? Uh, what does it make you feel like when you're like on stage or like when you're performing in front of people? The first time that I performed, um, it was actually uh, with Young Baca that um, they invited me to go perform. Oh, that was your first time. That was my first, first legit and what song first did you time. Sing? I sang X and Goodbye, which were the two first ones that I did with my new producer because I had two producers. 
Um, the Goodbye was my first one that I did with my new producer, uh, Manny. And when I went to perform, even though it was not a lot, a big crowd, it was like literally a couple of people, I was... Nervous? Girl. <laughs> I was like, me duele la panza, you know, <laughs> like what's going on? I was really nervous, but when I got up there, honestly, like I felt like to me, I saw a big crowd. Like to me, yeah. I just saw estrellas everywhere, you know? And when I started singing, me sentía like, like I was just free. You know, I felt so happy, I felt good, you know? And once I got off, I was like, fuck. Yup, this is what I've been waiting exactly. for, you know? This is yes. what I've been waiting for. <laughs> the second time was with old school. He actually invited me to go at, I believe it was the City of Commerce. Yeah. Um, oh, Pico Rivera. Oh, Pico is Rivera. That the day that I was there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's, uh, I believe that was my second time that I performed. Mm -hmm. And it was just another day too it was more people a little bit more people people yeah, yeah. Puse, never, so you guys I pumping me up yeah you <laughs> you were pumping me up yes. you know everybody else was pumping me up it was more of a great feeling that i was like i i want to do this like yeah. this is at first i thought you know i just love to sing maybe i just you know for the fun of it yeah. or algo no i was like no this is what i've always wanted and i know that i've been kind of like mia because you know life happens, life happens. Mm -hmm. and but the feeling right now, I'm like on, on adrenaline right now. And then when I performed my third time, that was recent, with old school functions. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. There was more people. So to me, I was just like, <laughs> okay, they're getting bigger. Yeah. You know? And then, I mean, I was ner I'm started. nervous, but I was like. No, I'm liking it. I'm feeling it, you know? Yeah, that's what I siento que cuando I get off the stage, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm all wiggly, like, oh, okay. I don't, yeah, okay. But I was, you know, keeping it together when yeah, I was up there. Right, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, man. And so, um, do you play any instruments? No. I'm not, I'm not talented like my brother. My brother plays everything that you can think of oh. solo by ear. Wow. Like, he'll just learn it by hear, hear, hear it. So, the motherfucker don't want to teach me how to play guitar. But I, I'm starting to learn how to play the guitar. Oh, like, I nice. mess with it. He gave me one of his guitars, so I'm planning on, like, messing it. Mm -hmm. So, I want to try to be more Taylor Latina Swift. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to see how that goes. And what about, um, uh, are you into any sports? Did you grow up playing sports? or? Yes. Yeah. My dad actually got us into soccer. Oh. So, I would <laughs> play soccer um, till middle school. And yeah, me quebré los ankles and it was all bad, girl. Really? Yeah, so, okay. and then How old it, are you? I was, damn, middle school. I was 12, oh. 13, I don't even. When you were playing? Yeah, I was playing okay. for the school, yeah. And yeah, it was just bad, girl. My <laughs> ankles got messed up and then growing older, um, my ex boyfriend that we were talking about earlier here in Lincoln Heights, <laughs> <laughs> he lives close by. Um, that person, that person that was my boyfriend at the time, um, he was a basketball player. So I started getting more into basketball. Oh. I was already into basketball because of Kobe, uh -huh. but I started playing. Playing, playing. Because he was playing. really like a play, like he was playing basketball. So I was like, okay, well, I want to play basketball too. You know? Because I like playing basketball. Oh, let's do this, I do girl. Play basketball in my oh, neighborhood. Girl, we gotta, so shoot. we gotta do that then. Yes. You probably you kick my ass though. Here, one on one, we're gonna have to play do a playoff. She's right? probably gonna <laughs> kick my ass, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you already told us like where you performed first which was uh, Young Baca you said huh? Yeah with Young How Baca. did you meet him? I met him how did I meet him? I don't even know I think it was just online oh. on Instagram. Okay. I met a lot of people on Instagram mm -hmm. it's crazy um, but yeah I, oh, I'm pretty sure that's yeah I mean. That's what, I mean that's how we met. I yeah guess, so. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like with, with him, I think it was the same way. And he was like, oh, you sing, you know, you should come perform, blah, blah, yeah. blah. So we exchanged um, information. And that's how I was like, after that, yeah, I was ready to go. Yeah. So <laughs> what, what song are you really proud of that you've, uh, that you've uh, sang? Like, goodbye. Goodbye is uh, because goodbye means a lot for me. And not only that, but Goodbye was um, when me and my producer, that was our first song, my new producer, uh, that was our first song together. I feel like he just heard what I wanted, heard what I needed, heard what I needed to say. Mm -hmm. And he got two and two together. Y después cuando oí la canción, I was just like, yes. And then the video too, the video I edited myself and I directed oh. it myself. So oh. um, to me, era todo lo que yo quería sacar. It was dark, you know, and also at the same time, it's like you're feeling a certain way. I, I'm sure a lot of people have felt boys and girls yeah 
<laughs> or men and women, sorry, <laughs> um, have felt sometimes trapped by relationships that are, are toxic or, exactly. you know, so for me, um, that song was to a lot of relationships, you know, and me being able to say, hey, man, I'm fucking hurting and I need to let go of this person and singing that song and putting it out there. I felt like it was kind of like a goodbye. You know what I mean? So I'm really proud of that song. Yeah. So um, currently right now, uh, besides music, uh, what is it that you do as your career? Like besides your career music? You besides know, my career music, yeah. I actually ain't doing shit. No I'm kidding. <laughs> you work. I know you work. <laughs> I actually, um, well, I started working at the Disney lot because I like film también. At the what? I, um, Disney lot. What's that? Um, so Walt Disney, you know how they have the lot, así como Universal, that has the back lot oh. where you could film y todo eso. Oh. So there's a Disney lot as well in Burbank. Oh, okay. And I started working there. So I've been pretty much now in the catering business and, you know, being around films. Like I was able oh. to be in the, in the catering for Fast 9. I got to meet Michelle Rodriguez in the Disney lot, which oh, she's my favorite actress okay. ever. <laughs> Let me tell you, she's my, I love her because she's such, um, such a tomboy. Yeah. So to me, I feel like girl, me and you mm -hmm. are the same person, oh. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so when I met her, it was really exciting to, to meet her and be able to be like, oh my God, because yeah. I didn't get to meet Selena, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So to me, it was like, okay, I, I cumplí una, you know, yeah. <laughs> right there. So, I mean, I got to, um, so I worked, uh, started at Disney lot and then I moved right now at Dream DreamWorks Animation. Oh, really? Yeah, so right now I'm at DreamWorks Animation, but due, to, of course, to COVID, oh, okay. we're on a little break, oh. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Jeez. So, um, did you, uh, like when you were, um, when you got out of high school, you went out of high school and all that, did you go to college? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, I was that like one that. Latina. <laughs> <laughs> I was that one Latina. <laughs> I'm like that one Latina that was like, nah, I'm not gonna go to college, no thank you. <laughs> so college ain't for everybody, you know? And yeah, it was, honestly, no school was good for me. <laughs> if my kids watching, school is good. <laughs> for all you guys watching, school is it's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so do you have, um, any uh, projects that you're out there like doing right now that we don't know about that you might want to give us a little <laughs> Damn. Well, I actually was recently talking to an artist that I met. Well, I was following him where well, we're following each other. And I know you know him. Uh -oh. Maybe <laughs> off, 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 we'll talk about yeah. it. Um, but um, me and him kind of like linked up and we actually met in person as well. And yeah, we're talking about doing something together, basically, which has to do with um, exes, you know, because oh. he's feeling a certain type mm -hmm. of way, I'm feeling a certain type of way, and uh -huh. we're like both feeling that type of way. Yeah. So we're like, dude, you and know, you and I will be Bad Bunny and Carol G, you know. Oh what I mean? so, shit! Look so out, we're people. we're we're, pretty, <laughs> we, we're gonna start working on that. Um, right. Other things is like I have a, also um, a a couple of collabs with a couple of artists mm -hmm. so those I'm waiting on those to come out too and like I said I can't really like you know yeah, yeah. but once those are out I'm excited too girl I'm oh, excited man. yeah, that's dope. Very yeah excited. I'm really proud of you that's that's a good feeling to oh, know oh the one I can announce though is a remix for goodbye oh. um, so I did a remix with squishy Oh shit. Girl, girl. Squishy. It's fucking 1991 lit. on Instagram. Yes. I follow her. Squishy 1991. Yes, she is lit. That girl's on fire. Um, her and I got together, so we did a remix for a goodbye, and it was the cherry on top. Oh, her part that she did. Girl, I hear it all the time. We're actually gonna start doing the music video next month. Oh damn. It's not you February, right? It <laughs> I'm like, girl, I'll, I'll, I'll let you I'll let you know. We do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like uh that's gonna but February is gonna start we're gonna start filming, so oh, I'm excited for it. Yeah, that's dope. That's really exciting to yeah. get that done, you know? Yeah, like definitely. When you see your it, it must be a good feeling when you see that the song that you made and you put on paper mm -hmm. comes to life in a video. Yes, that's, that's feeling, especially right? with Goodbye, it's going to be a big ass ring mix. So we're going to mix in the old one with a lot of going on. Like it's kind of like going to be like a, this remix is going to be like a good girl gone bad. Because mm. right there is just una mujer que se sentía like trapped, right? Okay. For that first video. Now with this remix, it's going to be like a good girl gone bad. Like my style, obviously. I changed my hair and I feel yeah. like more like myself like to be <laughs> honest and I feel like this music this music video is gonna be like to me it's gonna be a big accomplishment because how I'm gonna even be able to damn <laughs> be able to show who I really am as a person my mm -hmm. style my hair 
So I'm very excited, girl. Yeah, yeah. You remind me kind of like a Katy Perry st uh, story. Stop. And your like, style too, but not that, but your story because she, Katy Perry, oh. <laughs> she, she, she sang in a Christian uh, group too. She oh, really? She was a singer in a, Christian, in a Christian church. Oh, I didn't even know. And her, her, the same thing happened. Like they were against her singing and all that. Cause she started singing in like church, you know? Yeah. And also now she's a superstar, pop star and all that. I'm going to send you, a, I'm actually, I'm going to send you a picture of the album of, girl, I was dressed like a nun. I was like, oh, <laughs> can I wear jeans, please? You know, like it was just, I don't know. I mean, but it was a good album. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, I'm a big believer in God. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm, thanks to him, like I've accomplished and survived a lot of things, you know? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like I love God and I believe in God. But mm -hmm. it's just like me singing at church was kind of like, yes, I'll still sing, but I also want to be like telling people how I feel, you know? <laughs> you want to spread your wings yeah. out and tell people how you felt. And, and that's the thing that the platform of, of a singer uh, or a rapper is to express your emotions, yeah. to express your feelings and your thoughts and you want to be heard. You yeah. know? And that's kind of like, you know, how it is. I mean, with rappers especially too, you know, mm -hmm. like they sing their, their, their heart out. Their yeah. Emotions. When you sing it with more feelings, I think that the audience that you're trying to get to is going to hear it even mm -hmm. more. They're going to feel it. They're going to feel your what you're going through and they exactly. can relate to it, you know? Yeah, and there's another thing that actually, um, when we were at Drug in the Heights, I don't know if you remember, there's a song um, that is going to tell my story. Um, not in details, obviously, because, you know, obviously in details tampoco se puede, you know? Yeah. But um, it's going to say a little bit where people are going to be like, oh, crap, she went through that. What oh, crap, she it? went through that. It's a new song. We're actually oh, still working, working on, on it. it. Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's it's very touchy mm -hmm. to the point where I could be, write, like, finishing writing it, and then I'll try to practice on it, that me lloro, and I'm kind of like, no, and I'll rip it and be like, no. So it's like something that I'm battling with, but I do want to take out that song mm -hmm. because I feel like there's a lot of people that that have gone through certain stuff that I feel like this song will help them maybe not heal right away but at least be like crap there's somebody else to stop talking about it and yeah, you know yeah because there's a lot of people that I feel like growing up I mean to get in calladitas you know or calladitos and <clears throat> it's just hard to talk about sometimes but yeah. and I think that has a lot to do with um, with with our um, with being Latino a lot of us uh, well you know me personally like we grew up not wanting to express our feelings because we're bashed when you do yeah um, you know so when you start talking about how you feel deep down inside or expressing something like that to somebody then all of a sudden like they don't want to hear you or they're like yeah. why are you complaining and stuff like that so <laughs> he's like it's getting guy, too serious he's trying to start donut, the donuts over here so we can go eat <laughs> yeah well that's it was it, yeah especialmente con my dad his thing was like you need to toughen up. Yeah, that's the thing. And it's like, you need to stop. You need to get it together. Yeah. No says, you know, Cortez's, we're your Cortez's, you know? So it's like. like don't cry. Yeah, like. we had to really, we had to be tough. <laughs> yeah, you can't cry, that's the thing. Yeah, I was like, I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> Who's crying? Oh, está llorando. Okay, la. Man, so, um, I know that you've been on a couple podcasts or no? How many? How many I did you go on? was it I, on the Heights the first one? No, uh, the Groove Shack Radio was the first one. Oh yeah, one. that's right. That's what we. That's what yeah, I you. I mean, and that's how I started following. Yeah, and because of him also, like I got a pretty, pretty known after that. Like a lot of people started following me, so he's like a big part too of me, you know, starting because he literally like shares me left and right, you know. And then when yeah. I met you, you were like, I was mm -hmm. like, oh dang, you know, <laughs> like people are following me. <laughs> They're interested, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. So um, it was that one. Then drunk in the heights. Well, how did you meet the Groove Shack? Though? The on the on the internet and then Instagram. Oh, on the on Instagram. Yeah. You started following him. I I I don't even remember to be honest. Me and I need to conversate about that because I <laughs> I think it was on Instagram. I think he was following somebody or something. I don't know. Followers. Yeah, probably. Like yeah. Friend. I don't even know how I got across, but I know that I followed him first. I believe I followed him first. Oh, okay. And then he just reached out to me because obviously I was posting stuff about my music and he did reach out to me. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, you know, come, I need you, I want to interview you, let's do this. You know, yeah. I was like, hell yeah, let's fucking do this. I'm ready when you're ready. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it was uh, the Groove Shack and so then. Since that was your first one, um, and I don't recall if were you. Um, because he does online radio, but were you also on his live stream? Was he doing live stream too? Yeah. 
Oh, did you so get nervous? How did you feel that first time? That's, oh, yeah. I don't like, know how you feel. Tell us. I felt like, it, <laughs> I, felt like I was like, oh, my God, yes. Like, that's how I felt like I was talking. You know how when you first meet a guy? Oh. I don't know if you ever did it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit it right now. Like, when I met, like, you know a guy calls you? Don't make fun of me. You know how when a guy calls you and um, you're like, what the fuck? Da, 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 and you're hello. That was how I felt yeah, like nice, my first life. Li- yeah, and I'm like, hello. You know, my cousins were like, what the fuck? This bitch just changed her voice. Like, what the hell? Who is this bitch? And I would be like, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> As me, I don't even curse and shit. I'm like, hello. Uh, yeah, Jesus. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, me hacía la, la, la güey, you know? But yeah, that's how I felt for my first. And I was like, I don't, wasn't even looking at the camera, you know? Because you want to make like eye contact, eye contact según, yeah. you know, through the camera. But I honestly, I was looking at myself the whole time. I was like, don't look stupid. <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> oh, Gru's probably going to watch this, hopefully, and he's going to be like, she was looking at herself all this time. <laughs> she wasn't even looking at me. <laughs> she wasn't even caring about me. <laughs> or the audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I loved it, though. He He's such a great person. That He's going to get big. I yeah. don't know oh, he's he doing is. His thing. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's doing, doing his, his thing. thing. Yeah, like, he's it's amazing. There. Yeah, so then after the, um, the Gru shack, then you went to what was the next one? Um, then I met two souls. Oh, and she then met me. <laughs> she got me two interviews. It was uh, with drunk. Drunk in the drunk, Heights. Drunk in the Heights. Oh, that drunk in the Heights. <laughs> she got tore up to the floor. I got tore up to the floor. I got drunk <laughs> we in the Heights. Though. We did have fun. Yeah, though. we it did. Was so it was awesome. it was fun. It was really fun. I just almost murdered someone that kept on trying to ring the bell. Oh, my God, the bell. I was like, what the? F-? I just finished the shot. And then the other one was um, Long Beach or Long Carlos. Beach Carlos? Uh-huh. And that was my third one. And then... I'm here. Yeah, well, the nightcap bootleg. That's right. I yeah, that there you thing. go. Yeah, the yeah, nightcap. Yeah, the yeah. nightcap bootleg. That one was um, not in person, though, right? It was uh, yeah, it was online. Online too. Online, yeah. Live stream. So yeah, d- uh, drunk in the heights was um, in so person. So one in person and then two live. Yeah, streams. and then okay, so I did one in one. Groove was live. Then Dragon Heights was person, then I did them live, and then and here then I am. Person. person. Hey. <laughs> interview in person, because I'm special. <laughs> she came to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this guy. <laughs> anyway. El ex novio no está aquí, ¿verdad? No. I can get that. Ah, <laughs> team. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready. So, um, tell some juicy topic here, so I want to know. All the inquiring minds want to know because you're a beautiful woman. Oh. And I'm pretty sure you have a lot of followers looking at you like, hmm, <laughs> is she single? So, everybody wants to know. Well, I get a lot of DMs <laughs> asking me the question, yes, I am single. Oh, shit, you heard it here, guys. She's single. <laughs> Not ready to mingle. <laughs> Not ready to mingle. <laughs> Unless, you know, well, si me agarras la tensión, well, hold on. No, oh, you got to sleep her off her feet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But yeah, I, I am. Uy, me asustaste. <laughs> I was Thank like, you're you. <laughs> <laughs> Um Yeah, um, I'm single, yeah. You gotta drink some. Me too. We both gotta drink some, girl. That's the water boy. That's the water boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Uh-huh. If I would have spit, that would have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna stay in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I just asked her about her love life. So she said, if she spits, that's bad. <laughs> that's what she said. Literally. Oh, um, but yeah, I am. So you are single? I am single, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've never said that out loud. <laughs> I'm single, y'all. Get it off your chest. I'm getting after my chest. <laughs> Jeez, uh, so you have one child or how many kids you have? I have one 13-year-old. He's about to be 14. Oh, okay. He's a, yeah, he's my little, my little monkey, but... <laughs> oh, he'll get mad if I say it. Now everybody's going to know what Uh-oh. I call him. <laughs> Can we cut that off? <laughs> it's all right. We all have nicknames for our kids. Yeah. You know I'm so yeah, he's my one alone. Oh, well, I'm not allowed to have more kids, he says. He was oh, like, really? He wants to be the only cut one. Off. He's like, yeah, and I'm not allowed to have boyfriends either. <gasps> he was like, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm the man of your life. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, but kids. Yeah. yeah. This is how sometimes some boys are, you know, overprotective yeah. of their mothers. I mean, they he do it with a lot of love. They care, you know, they love, and they just want to be 
mm -hmm. you know, making sure that you're safe and that you know you don't get messed up with the guy, <laughs> with the wrong guy. You know, exactly. Or... He's like, he's always like, mom, if somebody hurts you, I'm gonna beat him up. Oh, that guy, mijo. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. <laughs> like, cause you're so small still. Cause he's young, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, but I, I love the fuck out of my son. So. Yeah. And what kind of uh, food do you like to eat? Cause I know you're, you said you're Salvadorian, Ooh, so girl. I know that they make some good food. Does your mom cook? cook okay, so of? here's where I might get some hate. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I feel it, guys. Somebody's looking at me. <laughs> I don't, I don't like pupusas. What? <laughs> Uh -oh, okay, it's not that I don't. Okay, I do like them, pero yo siento que growing up, eso es todo lo que pasaba comiendo. Oh. Pupusa, like my mom would okay. always like, my mom knows how to make pupusas too, so it's like, now do it's you like, know how pupusa. To make them no. <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> um, but she's, she, yeah, she's taught us, and um, yeah, like, I don't know, pupusas. So my favorite dish though, girl, I love carne asada, steak, sirloin steak. Hello. <laughs> I love everything that is a steak and then con mashed potatoes and grilled corn and grilled onions. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite dish. Ahora ya tengo hambre. But like what kind of, um, uh, so like there's Italian, Chinese, there's Mexican, there's, you know, Indian food. Like what's your like go-to? Mexican food. Love? Mexican food? Me yes, a burrito or unos tacos. <laughs> Yeah, girl. <laughs> yes. That is my go-to always, uh, Mexican food. You know how to cook? I do. Put you know what's so funny? So, so guys that are listening, you know, see if they have you, a good girl right here. <laughs> <laughs> a housewife. <laughs> no, but I am, I do know how to cook. I help mean, me I'm out. no I'll chef. Help me out here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, I'm no chef, but oh, see, I mean, we're not going to starve, so. Yeah, that's I right. mean, you eat, I eat, you know. But I did actually get a little bit better, though, at seasoning stuff. Like, my cousin has come over, lecho, like, salmon, um, a piece of steak, or um, tail out. Yeah. So some, it's like some cup of noodles. I've been getting. <laughs> that's the truth. It's cup of noodles, shrimp. <laughs> you, no, you but put a cup of noodles in a pot and then mix it up and throw some steak in there. Exactly. I'm like poner un huevito <laughs> in the freaking noodles. There you go. You know. Some but vegetables. yeah, exactly. So it's like, but yeah, yeah. Like I've I've been learning more now that I live on my own. Especially I live on my own. I don't have mama bear no more. Oh, so. Okay. Um, now that I live on my own, it's like I try to get more to cook better, you know, like yeah. mess with it and whatever. So lately I've been doing pretty good. You've been teaching your son? My son, <laughs> he doesn't even want to do huevos, but he knows how to make huevos noodles. <laughs> or a cup of boiled noodle. Egg. Boiled egg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he, that's what he knows how to do. And or un cup of noodles, se sabe hacer él. But yeah, he sometimes he is in the mood to help me. Like, he's going like, to watch this and go, man, mom, you put me on blast. I know, what the fuck? Now he, these girls, all the girls that follow him, like, you don't even know how to cook, fool. <laughs> oh, never mind. Now he's like, now I have to learn how to cook, mom. Because hey, women like guys that cook, you know? Like, yeah. Um, One thing that he does do, though, that, let me just say, because I don't want him to get mad. He does help around the house a lot. Like, he's my oh, little so helper. Like, so it's like, a veces ya ni siquiera me levanto para limpiar anything, because he's like, Mom, I'm gonna do this, okay? Or I'm gonna do it, or ya terminé el baño, or whatever, you yeah. know? So it's like, okay. Right, at least that's he's not good. dirty. Yeah. Well, he is not dirty at all. Well, that's good. Ese niño se baña en perfuma to go to sleep. <laughs> That's ah, good that, you know, he's like that because a lot of kids at that age, you know, they don't, they don't like to do that. They don't no. bother, you know, so he's, they want to be stinky, no. you know, not brush their teeth. And yeah, and he's about brushing his teeth, <laughs> his face, he needs to have his, so it's like, okay, my kid likes a girl now. I, <laughs> I feel it in my, my gut, Yeah. you know, but so, he so right. let me ask you this thing, um, because you have your full-time job, right? Mm -hmm. And then your full-time mom, of course, because your child lives with you, you said, yeah. right? Like full-time? or Single mom, yeah. Or what is it? Mm, it's is 100%. It? Oh, 100%. Okay, mm -hmm. so say full-time mom and full-time worker, but you also have your music career. Mm -hmm. That's also like a whole part of you as well. Um, do you face any uh, challenges to try to make the production and the, you know, the, the, the producing of your songs? Yeah. Like it's an actually it's money, yeah you know? like it's an investment so yeah it's been really really hard to even to put time on it um my producer and i we have different schedules so if he's available sometimes i'm not available or if i'm available he's not available so it's really hard to work especially like i'm um, a single mom mm -hmm. so it's like no puedo solo tirar al niño and be like oh you know it's all yeah. about me you know but um 
I make it work though, and he's made it work with me. So mm -hmm. so far in that <coughs> that situation, like I'm yeah. good. And financially, like as far as it goes, because I know like that costs a lot of money to make. It's not easy to produce, you know, and mm -hmm. to, to make beats and then to do, you know, all your photo shoots or whatever mm -hmm. have you, you know, for your, um, you know, your each, each of your singles and stuff like that. Like, do, yeah. do you find a struggle with that? Sometimes? Um, luckily, I've been blessed when it comes to that. Um, for example, my producer, like El Yo, we just collab together. Like okay. he's done beats, and then we already have talked. Like, cuando ya estemos más grande together, we're gonna financially be together. You know. Okay. Um, so I've been blessed with him photography um, my first photo shoot um, the girl that she clapped with me as well you know it wasn't like a big pay that she expected me to, from me you know she kind of like helped me out with a good price and and so I've been blessed girl to be honest I've been really really blessed um, well my videos I've done it myself except free free was actually produced by ground six so with him also another person that collabed with me no puso tanto precio. so I've been so blessed so I can't say I've had a struggle financially, at least not yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah. Because I've found so many people that do want to work with me, and it's a price that I can manage. So I'm, I feel in that that area, like I'm very blessed. And what's the name of the producer that you keep mentioning that that collabs with you, that works with you all the time? Um, that his name is Manny Paris. Manny Paris. Yeah. Um, he is amazing producer. He actually also sings too. He also oh. has his own music going on and he's, you know, trying to work. So we both, I think that's why we're so attached he to each other. All your songs then? He actually, the first one that produced the first four songs was, uh, his name was, it was Flood, Flood Music. But we kind of like, you know, went our separate ways. And then when me and Manny got together, I felt like we were more not because we were both Salvadorian, right? But um, <laughs> it's just El Sabia, because also we've been friends since middle school. Oh, okay. So it's you like when we, on. yeah, so when we collabed, I didn't even know he was into music, to be honest, when we were in school. Oh, okay. So we could have been doing a lot of things since we were since kids. Since we were younger. But wow. nunca, nunca, like, supe, you know? Mm -hmm. So now that we got older and then we got into contact and we started making music, it's like, yo le decía my feelings, and I'll be like this, and he'll be like, <laughs> let's go you wow. know and I'm like okay let's do this Amazing. you know yeah yeah Yeah. so I'm really blessed to have Manny Aww. I'm really excited love you Manny <laughs> <laughs> and um is he single <laughs> <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> he, he is single, but he don't like our way though. <laughs> he like he like him. So. <laughs> oh, that the only Yeah, he's 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 not straight. Mm, okay, okay. Fine. But if he was, girl, I mean, you could turn him. Maybe you could turn him. <laughs> with, with, with my friends. Oh, <laughs> so Manny, friends. I got you. <laughs> oh, man. And so, is there any hobbies that you like besides your music? I know, you know, but like something that, that you love doing that's just something like... Netflix and chill by myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Literally by myself. What kind of movies all the time you hit? Like comedy, okay. drama, or like scary movies? So, what? here's a funny story. <laughs> My mom swore that I was going to grow up to be a serial killer. What? <laughs> because when I was growing up, okay, so my uncle, when I was little, he used to call me Chucky. Chucky? Because he couldn't, Chucky. I think oh, he couldn't. Chucky. Yeah. So he, I don't think he could, like, was able to say, I don't know if he was just messing or he couldn't say Jackie. Oh. Pero me comenzaba a decir Chucky. Se pero decía Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. So as I was growing older, I saw the movie Chucky. Okay. I, I don't even know how the hell, because I was little. I shouldn't have even been watching it. <laughs> but I fell in love with Chucky. Oh I even have him tattooed right here. Oh my god, where? I have him tattooed right here. Show us. You gotta show us. <laughs> Let me take it off. Now okay. take it off, guys. Um, oh man. You yeah. have to take off the other one too. Oh, I have oh, the girl. Shoot. I can't, but... Oh, oh wait, right here, look. We're gonna have to help. Oh, right here. <laughs> she wants to get me naked. This is not you M.A. You need to do a close-up on this or take a picture of it. Oh, shit. That's and then funny. I got the bride up here. You could kind of see her, though. You got Chucky the bride, too? Damn. Yeah, but I put Jax on her because oh. I'm the fucking bride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aww. so it's like... He and then he's just started calling me Chucky, so I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. So then I heard Chucky the doll, you know, so I was like, oh, Chucky the doll, what the fuck? Like, I want to see this. I didn't say what the fuck when I was a kid, but um, um, then I fell in love with the damn doll. I saw it and I was like, ooh, I want to be that doll to kill people. Okay, so you were telling us about the movie Chucky. Oh, okay, uh, so I was watching Chucky, and then my mom ended up buying me the good guy doll. But it was like the one that's fixed up. I mean, the one that is uh, plain, you know, the oh. like good guy doll. Yeah. So I was like, 
the hell this puto who the fuck are you <laughs> so i was like let me get my marker so i started like oh writing on him to make him like legit and and i would sleep with him oh my god <laughs> my mom would be like oh, i don't know about this <laughs> yeah and then me i liked watching serial killer like Charles Manson, um, what was the other, a, a bunch of serial Jeffrey killers Dahmer. of me. <laughs> Lifetime movies, me encantan, like anything that has to do with life, life, like the for real stuff, crazy. you know, like yeah. legit stuff, killer shit, I was into. And my mom was like, you're gonna be a serial killer, like you're gonna kill people. Like, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. <laughs> and especially horror. So you were always uh, saying that you were growing up with the, the evil little Chucky sleeping with him and yes. <laughs> watching scary movies sick. and serial killer movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it and was like my you? thing. Girl, I think I started watching like since seven years old and up. Like I was oh, wow. always into like the dark stuff. Yeah. Tim Burton is my favorite director and you pretty much know Tim Burton stuff are very, very, oh, very yes, dark. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you think that, that um, did your parents like go like in the war or they grew up around that era or something? Or? In El Salvador, yeah, there was the war between, I'm sure the army and La Guerrera. Mm. And my dad was a guerrero. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. so he was. And That's my, you know, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, my dad went through all of that stuff, you know, assaulted my uncle. So it's like, maybe that's why he was so mean to me. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to do serial killer shit, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, he went he went through that. I've heard stories by both of them how it was awful over there. So they needed to get me the fuck out of there, oh, you know. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, it was crazy. I don't know if anybody or have you ever heard... Um, Was this Inocentes? Mm -mm. What's that? I don't know. It's a movie from. It's supposed to be from El Salvador. Oh. It kind of explains. Obviously, they couldn't film it in El Salvador. Oh shit. Um, but it talks a little bit about like how it was over there. Oh, My mom would say that. Oh well, yeah, like freaking bombs left and right, tiroteos. You oh, know, like man. it was awful. Like I'm That's so happy awful. that they brought us here. Oh. Or me, actually, because I was the only one born over there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Man, that's a scary feeling, you know? Yeah, like, like, I don't want... In, in, in an area that you're, like, out of a sudden don't know if you're going to even survive it. Exactly, and I feel like I don't even... Can't even imagine what they went through. Shoot, I hear, like, a firework that is not 4th of July. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> who shot who right now? <laughs> you better not go through this window, you know? Like, so I don't even know how I would even deal with all of that, you know? Like, yeah. I, I'm sure they... They could tell stories left and right of when they were kids, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm just blessed that I'm here in Los Estados Unidos <laughs> with my green card. Oh, actually, I just became a citizen last year. What? Congratulations. Officially right. a citizen. Damn, that's right. <laughs> He's legit now, people. I'm legit. You can't kick me out, Trump. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's amazing. So um, there was a, a, another thing that I was thinking of uh, asking you. Um, so being a single mom and you know doing you know your struggles your your, your hustle and all that stuff um what accomplishments are you proud of like what are you proud of of yourself because you know mm. sometimes we focus on others of what we're proud of others mm -hmm. you know but we forget about ourselves you know to, to yeah. give us credit you know to give ourselves credit so what do you what are you thankful for and proud of yourself for? i'm proud that i didn't give up on my son and i'm proud that i didn't give up on myself Um, because like I was telling you earlier, it's like I've been through so much left and right that, girl, if we get into a topic, I need tequila, girl, <laughs> you know, to talk about that because it's, it, I'm proud. Like, I'm very, very proud that, you know, I wasn't ready to be a mom. Like, I didn't want kids at all. How like, old were you when you had your kids? Um, I was 23. Oh, oh, crap. Now you guys know my age. <laughs> I still look young though. Yeah, you look good. I girl. look younger than these girls nowadays. <laughs> But um, yeah, um, so I was 23. And at that time, dude, because I didn't start drinking or smoke weed, mom, not weed. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, I didn't start doing that till I was 21. Because I was kind of like legit scared of my dad, you know, so <laughs> I didn't want to like get caught and shit, you know, yeah. so I didn't start doing that. So technically, solo tuve como dos años of going out and partying oh. and feeling that life because like I said, he was pretty strict. So I wasn't able to like just go out whenever the hell I wanted to. Mm -hmm. I literally had to like work myself to even go to the mall, oh, you know, shit. so um, with him, <laughs> it's like I feel like. I wasn't a perfect mom in the beginning. I struggled a lot because I had the postpartum. Oh, you did? So it's like... That must have been hard. Yeah, it was... Girl, it was yeah. really, really bad for me. Um, thankfully, my mom, even though I had, like, issues with my parents, like, 
I cannot say that they didn't help me. Like they were there for me when it came to my son. Yeah. So I'm so proud of myself that I got this place for us, especially we have our own place that I can say it's our own place, me and his, because I always wanted to do what my parents did for me, you know? Yeah. Regardless of how they raised us or the situations I went through with my dad, um, he made sure we had a roof over our heads, mm -hmm. like both of them. Like they they were good parents as far as taking care of us, you know? Yeah, they were good providers. Yeah, exactly. So for me, I'm very proud Okay, I never gave up on my son, even though I didn't want kids. But when he came and, and I f knew that I was pregnant, I was like, fuck it, we're, we're doing this together, yeah. you know? Like I'm not, I couldn't be that person, you know? And like no judging anybody else that wasn't ready or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm saying for me, for my mentality, like I was so proud of myself to become a mom, even though I struggled and still just moving forward, even though I've been struggling, you know, throughout the years and stuff. Yeah. So I'm really proud of that. Oh. <laughs> and so uh, besides, um, that uh, are you are you also like proud of the music you know yes you found something that you're like wow like I'm actually doing this because you said you've always wanted to be a singer yeah I've always actually I've always wanted I remember when I was in choir and also in uh, middle school um, and then trying to get into dance like classes in high school or uh, you know stuff like that um, I always thought of myself like, man, when I'm on stage, like, I want to hear that crowd singing my song or screaming out my name, out you name. know, and I'm going to be like, hey, what's up? No, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> yeah. so it's like I've always wanted that. And even though, like I said, like, siempre he querido hacerlo, but because of situations, siempre I would have a pause, especially like I would get in a relationship and they weren't really supportive of a certain situation. Oh, like. Okay. It's like, I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going to do that. You know, I'm going to be in this relationship. And yeah. plus, when you're like, you know, I didn't have kids there, so estaba enamorada or whatever uh -huh. in those times, you know. So I'm so proud, too. Like, I feel like this year is my year, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's more about, like, don't talk about it, be about it. Exactly. So, yo siento que este año, like, it's going to be a lot of good things for me coming That's up. That's good. Yeah. That's good. You got to um, <clears throat> say it into existence instead mm -hmm. of saying, like, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try that. Cause that's one thing that I've I've learned a lot um, throughout my life. Like if you keep saying try, I'm gonna try. I'll try to be there. Or, I'm gonna try to lose weight. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna try to do that. And it's kind of like you're being already a negative. Yeah. You're being a negative on it, and you kind of like don't even go go and push your dreams because you're just kind of like eh. Like, yeah. You know, whatever. But if you say no, you know what? I'm gonna do this. And a lot of things, a lot of people are afraid of um, accountability. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why they stay quiet. That's why a lot of people stay quiet and they don't want to say what they want to do. I want to fulfill because of the fact that they don't want to be told, ah, you said you were going to be this and look at you now. or look Yeah. At you. So they're afraid of that. But there, there's a good, there, you don't have to tell everybody like what you're going to do, but at least if you have an accountability partner, one yeah. person, maybe two people in your life that you go, hey, you know what, I'm planning on this project. What do you think? Or, or help me out, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, this is what I'm going to do. And they're like, yeah, go for it, you know? And, and at least, you know, you know you to have that one person, but you yeah. don't have to tell everybody, but at least that one person that's going to be like, put you straight at least, like, hey, like, what happened? Like, you could do this, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, don't give up on yourself. So I think that that's very important to have, you know? Yes, yes. Life. And luckily, I do have those couple of people. That's good. That's a handful, good. literally. <laughs> oh, yeah. <That's, laughs> I don't yeah, have a lot I of friends. Handful too, so. I'm okay with my little circle. <laughs> the little circles, there's no problem with me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> definitely. So, yeah. It's, yeah. I totally get that, yeah, for sure. Yes. That's where I'm at right now. Yeah. <laughs> so I know that, like, when I met you, um, uh, when I met you in person, well, we didn't really get to talk. We were mm -hmm. dancing. Yeah. <laughs> I met we you at the right. house parties of the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting a jiggy on right there, so. We were. That's yeah. how we met. That's yeah, how we that's started. How we I, mean, met. I was like, come here, girl. Yeah, we were just <laughs> dancing, making a little circle, uh, yeah. doing the battle. <laughs> old school trying to battle me. Yeah, old school. Until until they they all of us were yeah. just groove shack. Everybody, you know, Doris, we were all there having a good old time. Yeah. And so I didn't really get to, like, talk to you, but then when I did get to talk to you uh, was at the old school's event mm -hmm. when, um, when Scrappy was there and uh, the other the other Evolve and all them and um, and I was talking to you telling you like mm -hmm. hey you know what you got a good thing going you know you, mm -hmm. you, you I see something in you you know yeah and we got to promote you you know yeah. and I was just like nah you have a she promoter. wasn't lying y'all she like, wasn't you, lying you got a promoter you like no and I was just like well you need someone to like spread you know spread your news out to spread yeah. your songs and you know stuff like that and so I thought that was that was good that you know you were like accepting about it yeah You're like, yeah you know I want to do that and 
ever since then, like, man, <laughs> just me. It's been like, like so many followers yes. and people asking about you and stuff like that. And you need a you promoter? Know. Hit up two souls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm really good. That you know, I'm really um, great, grateful of, of working with you. You know, mm -hmm. and then also you became my friend. So yeah, we're not only just working as you know business partners. We're gonna get drunk after this. <laughs> <laughs> It's a modelo time. Uh, I don't drink beer, but it's tequila time for me. <laughs> All right. So, do you want to like say um, any like um, maybe motivational words to like the younger audience that we might be having, or, or someone that wants to be inspired by you know being a, a, a in the music industry? You know, um, don't give up on your dreams. Don't pause. Don't. I know life happens, but if life is happening, shit, sing it sing it write it down talk about it um for sure don't hide yourself in a freaking box get yeah. out of that box and don't be afraid to do it because you don't want it to be too late that's my thing right now like i don't want to be old and be like fuck i didn't do this you know yeah, i'm right. like yeah i might be older now but i'm not gonna die one day and say Oh, si lo hubiera hecho, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. If si me sale, me sale. Si no, I could, I, I tried. So for yeah, sure, you could say you did it. You know? Exactly. You so tried, for you know? sure, don't give up on your dreams. Whatever it is, shit. You want to be the biggest chef? Go for it. Who gives a fuck if you burn a bunch of shit? You know? <laughs> do it. <laughs> so, is there any shout outs or anybody that you would like to like, you know, shout out on the damn the show? Well, Two Souls is right here. Aww. <laughs> um, the Groove Shack Radio for sure. Uh, Manny, my producer. Um, Old school, Denise, my cousin, Shelly, my son, he's my number one fan. Um, and that's it. Everybody else, hey, what's <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're already done and we're wrapping this up and we just want to say thank you for watching. Two Souls is out. Jax. Adios. Let me tell you something. i